Hello viewers, hello subscribers, hello cherished learners of St. Henry's class. We are here on your screens once again. This is our first video for the year. Um, today we would like to take some few examinable questions for BC 2024. If this is your first time of watching our video, please can you subscribe, comment, like and share our videos. The first one says that we should solve for X in the diagram below. And this is the diagram that we have here. Looking at this diagram, these two lines are parallel lines. So they have arrows on them. Parallel lines are lines that do not meet or are opposite to each other. So this is one parallel line, this is one parallel line. When a line runs through the parallel line, we can extend the parallel line and extend this line. When a line runs through the parallel line, we call it a transversal. A transversal now using the angle properties of parallel lines this z shape when we draw this z or z shape we are going to get two angles that will be equal the angle here will be equal to the angle here so it means this side counts will be x plus 15 and angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees so here we would see that um, so angles on a straight line equals 180 degrees. So, what are the two angles on the straight line? It is x plus 15 degrees and 115 degrees add up to give us 180. So x plus 15 plus 115 is 130 equals 180. Since you want to find x, you make x the subject. And that will give us 50 degrees. So x equals 50 degrees. Now let's look at b. Find the angle x in the trapezium below. The angle x in the trapezium below. So this side to that side is 10 centimeters 13 7 and then we have the angle created x you have to find this angle now what we can do is we can do an extension over here now when we introduce a triangle over here it's going to give this shape to be a rectangle look at it very carefully good right so this height here or this width is also the same as this width so we can see this side is seven centimeters from this side to this side is 13 and this side to just this side is 10 so we can see the remaining is what three so that we can also get 13 over here using the idea of trigonometry right angle triangles if this is three this is seven now this longest side is hypotenuse. Don't forget, an angle will be created here. Let's call it theta. So when the angle is created here and the angle that we are looking for, which is x, those two angles will be on a straight line. And if you know one value, we just subtract it from 180 and we get the other. So this side is hypotenuse. This side is facing the angle. So we'll say it is opposite. And this is adjacent. So we'll use tan, twa. So we'll say tan theta let's find the value of tan theta opposite here is um seven and adjacent is three so seven over three so we find the inverse of tan that would be seven over three tan inverse of seven over three and that will give us um Sixty six point eight zero one. So tan theta is sixty six point eight zero one. Now, how do you find it? We just subtract sixty six point eight zero one from one eighty. So one eighty minus sixty six point eight zero one. So one eighty minus sixty six point eight zero one. 
0.199 we can leave this in 36 fig that will be 113 degrees and that is all the last but not the least 2 root 16 plus root 64 minus half of 2 root 225 so we'll see 2 bracket root of 16 is 4 so 4 or 4 for 16 plus root of 64 is 8 minus half of root of 15 is 15 so you have two bracket 4 plus 8 is 12 minus half of 15 so two bracket so here we have 12 minus Half of 15 is 7.5. So 12 minus 7.5. 12 minus 7.5. That will give us 4.5. So we have 2 times 4.5. 2 times 4.5 is 9.0 and that is all thanks for watching we have more coming your way we'll be solving more of the examinable questions and thank you for choosing our channel god bless you this year we have great videos coming your way thanks for watching once again my name is Sir henry your humble facilitator bye